So I wrote a poem called Listen. I was asked to share some of the letters and notes, the thousands of them that I've gotten over the years from survivors of sexual violence. And I didn't want to do that because that, you know, that's their story. What I did instead is I took words and phrases from I think a couple hundred different letters and I poured them together uh, into a found poem. That's what's called Listen. And so what you're hearing uh, when I say you are the voices of these survivors sharing little, little slivers of their experience, um, their stories with you. You write to us from Houston, Brooklyn, Peoria, Rye, New York, LA, DC, every, anywhere, USA, to my mailbox, my space, Facebook, a live journal of BFFs whispering, 100,000 whispers to Melinda and me, you. I was raped too, sexually assaulted in seventh grade, 10th grade, the summer after graduation at a party. I was 16, I was 14, I was five, and he did it for three years. I loved him. I didn't even know him. He was my best friend's brother, my grandfather, father, mommy's boyfriend, my date, my cousin, my coach. I met him for the first time that night and Four guys took turns and I'm a boy and this happened to me and I got pregnant. I gave up my daughter for adoption. Did it happen to you too? You too? You. I wasn't raped, but my dad drinks, but I hate talking, but my brother was shot, but I'm outcast, but my parents split up, but I'm clanless, but we lost our house, but I have secrets. Seven years of secrets, and I cut myself, my friends cut. We all cut, cut, cut to let out the pain. My five-year-old cousin was raped. He's beginning to act out now. Do you have suicidal thoughts? Do you want to kill him? You. Melinda's a lot like this girl I know. No, she's a lot like me. I am Melinda Sarah. I am Melinda Rogelio. I am Melinda Megan, Melinda Amber, Melinda Stephen, Tori, Philip, Navdia, Tiara, Mateo, Christina, Beth. It keeps hurting, but, 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 this book cracked my shell. It keeps hurting, I hurt, but your book cracked my shell. You. I cried when I read it. I laughed when I read it. Is that dumb? I sat with the girl, you know, that girl. I sat with her because nobody sits with her at lunch and I'm a cheerleader, so there. Speak changed my life, cracked my shell, made me think about parties, gave me wings. This book opened my mouth. I whispered, cried, rolled up my sleeves. I hate talking but I'm trying. You made me remember who I am. Thanks. P.S. Our class is gonna analyze this thing to death. Me. 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 Weeping.